All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined by, uh, by Kate Horlacey, who is in Sydney, Australia. So coming to us from the future. How are you doing, Kate? Hey, John, I am good. Yes, it is Friday morning here at 7.30 in the morning, but I was up early, did my yoga and meditation and ready to rock and roll. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, excellent. And Kate uh, helps uh, entrepreneurs who have something great to offer, but who struggle with sales to go from unsure to unshakable. And who doesn't want that for sure? So today we're going to talk about how to use the power of video to attract limitless leads. So, um, Kate, obviously the use of video has become easier and easier because the technology has made it so simple for people to be even create that good quality video. But just because the technology or the tools are there doesn't mean that people know how to use it effectively. Correct. Um, I mean, I think that it's fantastic that it is usable for so many people now. I know personally, I got really stuck on the technology and invested thousands in cameras. And I love it that anyone can now get their smartphone and shoot a really effective video to get leads. So that is, that's a really, it's a brilliant thing. Um, so people do love authenticity. So it doesn't matter if you stumble over a couple of words, but what is important, what is key is that you really understand who you're speaking to, you respect their time and you help them to try and get some sort of value um, so that they want to come back and they want to watch again. That is what is key. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, it's fascinating you say that because uh, a lot of people, and I get videos sent to me by, by salespeople quite a, a lot of the time. And um, a lot of them actually look like hostage videos, yeah, where it <laughs> looks like, you know, they're standing rigid in front of staring because they've been told to stare directly into the camera. So staring directly into the camera, but kind of emotionless. And then kind of, as you said, repeating a lot of unnecessary things. So, so kind of low value. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but the value is not there. And as I said, they, they kind of look like hostages. <laughs> <laughs> genius yeah i mean it's really important that you just look natural movement is important too you know i i get my people who i'm training just to you know loosen up use their bodies a bit because people are seeing all of this so you've got all of this to communicate with mm -hmm. you know yeah, and uh if you're using it to actually get leads in the top of your funnel which means people who haven't seen you before at all um people are just scrolling through their feeds so you want to get their attention so a little bit of movement gets attention and i'm showing you a lot of movement now but it's i think um uh from where we came from our ancestors didn't want to get eaten by dinosaurs so you know people see movement and it just it gets their attention so all of a sudden you've got that first little sale which is um i'm going to invest in just taking a small little extra look at this uh, so what I really help people do initially is to, to get those leads in the top of their funnel. So you then want to make sure that you have got copy that grabs their attention straight away. And uh, then you want to have that opening line that grabs their attention straight away. You know, do you struggle with interesting story, this mm. kind of thing. Make sure you're using your voice so you don't, as John said, sound like a hostage in a hostage <laughs> video. Uh, hi, I'm Kate Hallacy and uh, and then reading from a script. It's so much less about that now and it's more about your own energy that you bring yeah. to the table. That's so important. You know, energy is actually, I think, potentially more important than content. I've done some um, great content videos that I thought would go really well, but my energy was a bit stressed and like, oh, got to get this done today. And they haven't done that well. And I've had other... Um, videos where the content was a bit meh. I was a bit like, you know, will I even share this? And they've actually gone really well. So you kind of don't always know what's going to hit for people. But one thing I have 100% noticed is that energy is is really key. Yeah, no, I, I, was going to say, I totally agree with you because and if you want to stand out and there's a lot of noise out there today. And, and as I said, there's a lot of 
there's a lot of not very good one videos flying around. So I think that's I think that's almost a starting point is you got to have energy and enthusiasm about what you're doing, because if I'm going to watch a video from you uh, your, about your product or service or something that you're trying to share with me, if you're not excited about what you're telling me, why should I be? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you've got to get pumped about it. And the thing is, I mean, look, the, the, the truth is you're not always going to feel pumped, especially if you are shooting, for, like, say, five videos a week. Sure. Um, I, you know, like, and again, what I teach people to do is not necessarily just come and hit people with, you know, this is my product and this is what I sell and this is mm -hmm. how it's going to help you. It's about adding value first. So you're kind of just helping people get less of what they don't want, more of what they do want. You're giving them nice little short bursts of value. Um, the platform I absolutely love is LinkedIn because only 1% of the entire LinkedIn population is putting out content regularly. So it means that your content is going to be seen by more of your um, prospective clients. So that's a very good thing. But yeah, you want to add a lot of value first before you start even talking about your product or uh, your service. Um, and then even if you're not feeling pumped, you've got to find a way to get yourself pumped. You know, it's a bit like um, the old Tony Robbins stuff. You know, you get yourself in peak performance state because it does make a difference. Uh, I was shooting some videos after feeling really zen, um, six o'clock in the morning. It was beautiful down by the beach, which is where I always shoot. And I was like, oh, I feel so peaceful and calm. And I'm going to shoot my videos authentically from this peaceful, calm space. And I shot them and I'm like, and then I just thought, look, I'm better just do them with a little bit more energy right. just in case. Uh, I never bother to watch them back while I'm out there. So I just redid them, shot them again quickly with a bit more energy. And two things happened. The first thing is once I shot them with more energy, I felt more energized. I was like, woohoo, let's go. Let's, you know, hit this day running. I still felt zen inside. But then I watched the videos back and the ones that were really zen and you know really authentic i was like oh <laughs> bloody boring you know so um so yeah you do want to you do want to pump yourself up and because you've got to understand that videos are they're they're content so that you want to give people value as i was saying but they're also entertainment to an extent so if you can get somewhere which is a little bit more interesting than a white wall, that's a good thing. I've got the beach a couple of minutes away from me. I shoot down there. Um, don't let that stop you, though. Uh, personally, I believe if you're trying to find more clients and customers, getting good at video as soon as possible is the best thing you can do. So if you've only got a white wall at the moment, just start, but just bring some really good energy to that video. Um, a, a thing I love to suggest to people is um, just just picture your best friend behind the mm -hmm. camera and like you really want to help him or her today. It's like, hey, I'm always like, hey, like Zoe, hey, how you doing? You know, this is what I want to talk to you about today. And as if you haven't seen them for a bit and you, of course, you're pumped and excited to see them and you've got that nice warm energy like you want to help and all these people who aren't yet your friends then kind of come into your fold and they they start feeling a bit more like your friends which is um eventually what they become over time it's amazing the community you can create and the friends you can make through doing valuable video yeah and i think there's a really critical point in there that you raised and i think this is where some a lot of people fall down when they first start this is that they think they're talking to the camera Right. So they're focused on the camera. You're not talking to the camera. As you say, you're talking to another person who happens to who happens to be beyond that camera and you can't see them right now. But if you approach it like that, that you're having a conversation with somebody and this this thing you're staring at is literally just a conduit to that conversation. But if you start looking at it and uh, as a camera, then it, it'll affect your whole performance and you won't ever get that kind of authentic connection. Yeah. No, that's absolutely right. And I think it's the same in sales. Like even when I first started my business, I was like, you know, I want to I sell to thousands of people and I'm just going to do this. And they were all kind of these slightly nameless, faceless people, really. Um, one of the big kind of things for me is really understanding that every single person you're reaching, they're all individuals and they're all individuals with their own individual struggles and their their dreams and you know how can you really help meet them where they are 
and um, just give them a little bit of value. And so that's what I'm about now. I don't, I don't even care if people never work with me. If I can give them some value and give them a little aha, a little boost on that day, especially because I help entrepreneurs and business owners, um, you know, it's not easy being in business. And sometimes you need that little, you know, you got this. Um, you know, here's what, you, you, you know, you're stuck with this. Here's what you can do. And people are like, Ah, oh, thanks, Kate. You know, that that's so cool. And I've had a lot of people refer people to me, even if they haven't worked with me and so on, because, you know, I really do give with an open heart and um, understanding that there are people behind all of those computer screens that you're going to show up on. So it's really key to remember. Yeah. And, and, and when they look at your video, I mean, they're inviting you into their day. Uh, so you have a certain, as you said, you've got a certain responsibility to make that a valuable uh, interruption, if you like, rather than just like, oh, it's another thing. Um, but it's great. I mean, I love, I love what you're saying there about, about this whole authentic, authentic piece. And I think that's the key to it. I think that people have to just, just try. And, and I love what you said earlier about your, like talking to your best friend, because if you don't have your best friend, then you are being your authentic self. Because I, if they're your best friend, probably known you for a long time, you probably feel very comfortable being you with that person. So if you can translate even a portion of that into your video, you're going to come across as a more authentic person. Yes, yes. Um, so you're talking to your best friend, but you've got something really cool to tell them. You're like, you know that they're struggling with this thing. You're like, hey, oh my God. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. And if you're really excited too, you're gonna speak a little bit faster. That's another thing that I wanna encourage people to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you wanna have a good opening line. You don't wanna be saying, uh, you know, you see some videos on LinkedIn, it's like, hey guys, so yeah, um, you know, I'm in Sydney today and you know, the weather's pretty nice today. And um, so, you know, what I'm gonna, and people are gone, they're bounced. Yeah. As we all know, people have got the attention of goldfish. I think it's actually less than goldfish. It is. I, re I read it's less so that we are, I, I, I said this a number of years ago in the presentation, I think we've crossed over to de-evolution. I think we have reached the tip of our evolution a while back and we're in de-evolution now because we're goldfish have kind of got better attention than we do. I know. It's not ideal. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not ideal. Oh, that's the posty. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one, but people do expect to get value. They expect to get answers very, very quickly. I think it's it's an interesting one because we're expecting to grow and learn much faster, mm -hmm. you know, because we can grow and learn at the, you know, at the, we just type something in Google and we know it. Um, so I think that our intelligence is meant to be rising, but of course, Focus is also important in life, in business. I think it's also good for that it factor. The more you can focus your attention, you become like a laser light instead of a diffused, you know, room light. Um, so there are focus, you know, meditations and so on, where you just have to focus on a, a candle, for instance, and uh, you put a little dot every time your focus wavers. But it's amazing, just even a couple of weeks of that and your focus gets... <sighs> And it is a very, very valuable thing to have. Um, so, yeah, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. But, yeah, you have to understand that the average person wants to get value very quickly. And if, and, and if, they, don't, if they don't get that quickly, they're gone. So mm. you do, knowing that, you have to come to the table energised. You you've got to get straight into it. And you've got to make sure that you are giving them what they want to, uh, something valuable. Otherwise, yeah, yeah they're not going to come back. Yeah, yeah. And, and preparation, too. It's like, yeah, don't don't read off a script, but certainly know what you're going to say and have it down as I say to to concise and, and, and energetic and upbeat delivery and get get to the point as quickly as quickly as you can. So why is it you think that more more so people don't use video? Because I mean, I mean, I do get some, but I don't get as many as I would expect. Um, I think people are everywhere are scared of video. You know, they just are. It's one of those funny things. It's um, a bit like public speaking, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I was. I was completely terrified, especially of posting video on social media, which um, I think if you want to be a great salesperson now, if that's your most of your audience, it is, it, you know, it's going to set you apart from other people in your industry who aren't posting video because of people, of course, people would like to, 
to buy from people they know, like, and trust. And the best way to get in front of people and get that relationship going is video. Um, but if you're kind of not doing video right now, one, it's kind of in the too hard basket. People are like, oh, I may get to that at some point. Yeah. If you are someone who really wants to really uh, not just kind of do okay, but do extremely well, you're going to want to address that and just make yourself do it. You know, just get in there and do, you know, video every day, every working day for like three weeks, see how you feel after that. It's going to make you a better communicator, 100%, because you've got to start um, being able to deliver your points quickly and succinctly. I will say, John, uh, you know, yeah, do get off script. I, I really don't love the videos where people are using the teletext. You can do that if you really need to, if you've got a really important sales letter that it's important to, to do succinctly. But the more you do these fresh, short videos, the more you're going to be able to do that anyway. So just maybe if you get in and do the hard yards for a month, three months, you, you're never going to need those teletext things again. Plus, you're going to know your product and your service and your people so much better. Um, but yeah, I think it's I, I think it's number one, John. I think it's fear, and probably secondly, apathy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they, they're the things that are, are going to hold people back from video. But if you're kind of thinking, if you're out there and you're thinking about doing video, and you're like, oh, I'd love to do video, but I really don't want to, and you've got that fear and resistance, I always say that it's that fear and resistance. The thing that's behind that. Is your breakthrough so lean into it just get it done and uh you're going to find more of yourself you're going to be able to bring more of yourself to the table and you're going to attract more of those leads yeah absolutely i mean i think that the fear the fear is probably a big factor but you know fear stands for false evidence appearing real so once you confront it then you realize that uh, there's nothing to be afraid of but i really I, I love that idea about just go at it for three just dedicate yourself to three weeks go at it and have a go and see the difference as you do it more and more and more uh you'll see that it's not that difficult at the end of the day but also you might actually enjoy it because let's face it, if you're you're in sales because you like to communicate with people, you like to build relationships, you like to serve people. So this is just another tool to help you kickstart that. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I'm, I will also say, look, I think that salespeople are going to be better at video potentially, which is a great thing. Um, uh, it's also possible you won't like it. <laughs> you know, like, oh my God, when I first started, I tried to do like a much longer video and it took me like three days. I kept on stumbling over words. I'm a perfectionist. I'm like, why can't I communicate? You know, how hard is it? I'm just not good at this. Maybe I just suck at video. Maybe this isn't my jam. I put it out there eventually. People are like, oh my God, Kate, you're so good on video. This is like amazing. I'm like, oh my God, do you know how long this took me? So I will say to people, don't maybe expect to be good at it and don't expect to love it just because, you know, your expectations can sometimes, they'll get in your way. And I've seen a lot of people who could be really great give up early because um, they kind of suck at it to start with. But hey, it's those things that we kind of suck at to an extent to start with. You know, you, you just apply yourself and you start to master it. And they're the things that you can really give yourself a pat on the back for um so yeah. it's like that it's like that term they use um in, in recovery for people it's like progress not perfection and i think that's the key to it is is as you practice is it to see oh yeah i'm getting a bit better getting a bit better now you know you're not going to you're not going to be 100 percent perfect ever to be honest to be you could be really really good at it but as long as you're progressing that's right oh my gosh totally really well said john i mean for me personally the biggest joy in, in life or sometimes the simple things but certainly progress as long as i'm moving forward in myself and in my life i'm really happy um so you don't want to just be great at everything i mean how boring would that be imagine you're just coming out of the womb you're super smart you're great at everything i mean it'd be pretty good let's face it but um, yeah it'd be great come on <laughs> Yeah, who are we kidding? Um, no, but I've got to say, it is those things that has taken me a little while to get better at. I do feel prouder of those things than the things that I just, you know, I'm just, you know, it, it's just so easy. Um, so, you know, apply yourself, lean into the resistance, lean into the fear, lean into the suckiness and, uh, and, and just see what comes out of it. It is a really fun journey, but it is brilliant.
brilliant, mm. but getting late. Yeah. yeah. And I think probably for a lot of salespeople, the best thing to do is just cast your mind back to where you started. Maybe your first sales call, maybe your first telephone call, maybe your first face to face or whatever. I'm sure your first number of those, you know, probably you probably didn't hit the ground running. You probably weren't fantastic right out of the gate. You probably took some time to get good at those parts. So it's again, it's just another skill set to develop. But as you said, if you can develop it, you can really stand out. Yeah, that's it. And I think it's easier now too, because people do love short videos. So for me personally, it is way easier to remember one point that if I'm saying doing five points, because you have to kind of really give that point in a beautiful little parcel. And then you've got to try, I don't know, it's just harder. Shorter is easier. So just do one point in about a minute. You know, are you struggling with that, this? Um, how about, you know, trying this and that's going to help you with this, get that, that kind of transformation. And that's basically it. Uh, and then you just want to just practice it. Like, you know, you can practice it five or 10 times. Like I oftentimes will go, I'll, I'll shoot like six or eight videos uh, in a, you know, it takes me about an hour now. It used to take me most of half a day or something. Um, but yeah, on the way down to the beach, I'll just practice them in my head. Hey guys, and then I get excited about it too because I like what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you just want to practice that, like one video, say five times and then shoot it, that can also be really helpful. You don't have to, I almost like I used to just go down out to the beach and just pretty much wing it. I do wing it a fair bit of stuff actually. Um, I've realized that, you know, preparation and getting a a framework does really give you extra freedom because I'm all about freedom. And if you do get prepared and you get a framework, yeah, you can actually have more freedom in that. Um, but uh, I think now personally, it is much better just to know what you're going to talk about, practice and practice and practice them and um, keep them super short. A minute, yeah. a minute. And be, and be conversational. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, listen, Kate, this has been fantastic. Uh, all of Kate's information is going to be below this video and links so you can find out more. Uh, but before we go, Kate, do please do tell people a little bit more about yourself and what, we, what you do. So I work with, uh, I know you guys are mainly salespeople. Um, I, uh, I work mainly with, actually, I've trained a sales coach. Um, but look, I, I have been in sales and I know it can be wonderful and amazing and uh and I wish you all the best. Um, personally, I work with entrepreneurs and business owners. So if you've got a side gig and you need to know how to get that offer really rocking and rolling, get more leads in and, uh, and also go over your sales process because we can all be better. It's amazing how we can't see our own blind spots. So uh, that's the kind of people I train. I help them get better at video and get more clients uh, so they can bring more money in. So that's the kind of people that I, I work with. I work with people all over the world. I do train sales organizations as well. I've got an amazing LinkedIn, uh, you know, how to use LinkedIn effectively training uh, that help get everyone's profiles up and ready and um, a, a basic funnel that will help you to attract more leads. And yeah, just hit me up on LinkedIn. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Go get it with video, it's amazing. And all the very best. Yeah, listen, thanks, Kate. And my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine Pipeliner, CRM. See you all for another interview really soon. Thank you.